Hello guys, welcome back. My name is David. If you're here visiting for the very first time, this channel is all about providing you guys with tips and information on what's going to help you have a 360 photo booth business that reaches success the fastest way possible. Now, having a business for the very first time is already exciting. Diving into the 360 photo booth business is going to be a crazy amount of excitement because you're going into the party business. You're going into a business where it's all about entertainment and production. So enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so so that you guys can stay tuned on all this information that's coming in. All right. Today's video. Super cool video today. I'm very proud to make this video. I made a part one and quite honestly, I got tired of doing so many other things. I delayed part two. So what I'm doing for you guys to make up for that is this whole entire video we're going to cover part one and two and we're going to time stamp it so you guys can fast forward to whatever part of the video is going to be most valuable to you so we're going to dive into touch picks create an event in addition to that we're going to go and add an mp3 song to our event on touch picks when we're done doing that we're going to jump onto canva and make an overlay for our template on touch picks let's go ahead and get started right now all right let's go ahead and do this if you guys are in front of a laptop right now or in front of your computer these are the tabs that i have open right now now i'm gonna have links for all of these tabs so all you guys have to do is go into the description and click on that link that's going to take you to this particular website and uh this is including canva the video trimmer and the youtube mp3 converter and then just youtube in general so we're on touch picks right now this is how the dashboard looks like if you guys are visiting me for the very first time here on this channel this is how touch picks looks like some of you guys already know because you either did an event already or have already kind of explored the application now when you download touch picks this is one thing that not a lot of people share with you but when you download touch picks make sure that the phone that you are using to download touch picks has the same email as your ipad you want them to have the same email, same user email, so that they can synchronize correctly. Because when you are ready to purchase your subscription on, let's go to pricing. When you're ready to purchase your subscription on TouchPix, and say, for example, you, go on, you have to go on your phone to make the purchase. So once you make the purchase, for example, like the weekly professional for $50, right? Once you make that purchase on your phone, it's linked to your phone's email. But make sure that your iPad that you're going to be using as a sharing station matches that same email when it's set up. Wanted to throw that in there because I think it's very important. When I first did this thing here, uh, of course, my devices had different emails and it wasn't recognizing the events. And I called TouchPix. By the way, if you guys have any issues using TouchPix, I called their customer support team. And quite honestly, I was impressed, first of all, because I got a representative on the line within like three minutes. And they were very helpful as far as answering my questions. So reach out to TouchPix if you guys are having any issues. I'm just giving you guys a foundation and I'm showing you guys the basics of TouchPix, especially in the 360 photo booth realm. Now let's go ahead and dive into this right now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's go back to the dashboard. And uh, if your screen looks like this, just go to the very top right here where it says create an event and we're gonna create a custom event. When we're there, we're gonna name our event. We're gonna name this event uh, Roberts. Remember guys, I'm not the fastest typer. Bear with me, all right? Roberts birthday and then country, I'm in the United States. The countdown, usually I always have it at three. The countdown is going to be the countdown of the production getting ready to start recording. So when the arm starts spinning, <laughs> when the arm starts spinning and your motion trigger is on, your phone is going to start a countdown on the TouchPix app. And what it does, it gives it a three, two, one, and then it starts recording. So that's what the countdown is. If you have an external screen, you will be, you'll be able to see the countdown on the external screen as well. Mirror overlay, I'm going to uncheck that. Front or rear camera, always use the rear camera of your phone. Your rear camera on your phone is the most powerful camera on the phone. The camera that's going to offer you the best quality because it has a higher, highest amount of pixels. Maybe one day that'll change, but for now, just uh, use your rear camera right here. Okay. Camera exposure menu, uh, I don't need that enabled. Our phones are going to adapt to whatever lights in the room. Plus, you have your RGB lights and your ring light as well. I'm going to leave this unchecked right here. Printing, 360 photo booth uh, business 
doesn't require us to print anything. That's the beauty of a 360 photo booth business. We don't have to deal with printing machines. We don't have to deal with buying paper and all that great stuff, right? So we save money there. And now over to functions, I'm going to uncheck all of these and I'm only going to leave um, slow mo checked right here. Now follow me on this, okay? Slow mo recording time. You can leave this at 4.5. I usually, for whatever reason, I like five seconds. Now, slow-mo recording time is going to affect how long that video is. Now, keep in mind that the longer your TouchPix video is, the longer it's going to take to render, the longer it's going to take to add the effects because remember, we're adding a song, we're adding an overlay, and we're adding the slow-mo effect. So when all that stuff is being added into the production and it's finalizing your video, keep in mind that people are waiting to go on the 360 photo booth and the people that just got off the 360 photo booth are waiting on their video to be finished and completed so they can see that video of themselves as a final production with all the cool effects and this never gets old when you guys see your clients big old smile and their laugh like oh my god this shit looks tight uh you guys are gonna love it you guys are gonna love your your, your job you know remember you guys are producers at the end of the day you guys are directors in this business so you can leave it at 4.5 or at 5 you can experiment i usually have it at 5 I think it's a sweet spot. Having it at five gives me about 28 seconds of video. Now, another uh, important point to bring up, when you guys are doing your event, right, and this is your very first time, you guys will notice that the countdown, first of all, that starts off, and then it starts recording. It only records for about six seconds, but those six seconds of recording time are going to end up being about 28 to 30 seconds when the video is completed because remember they're going to be adding that slow-mo feature which extends the video so slow-mo slow boomerang we're going to enable that and leave that on there add audio file let's go ahead and do that um i was going to leave this but you know what let's do this let's continue going all the way down this list and then we're going to go back to this section and we're going to work on this section together okay so we'll come right back to this add audio file that way we take it one step at a time. Now, screen flash enabled. I leave that unchecked. What this is, is on your external screen and on the phone you're using to record the actual event, it's going to use it as a flash screen, which means it's going to be on a white screen and it's, it wants you to use it as a flash screen. So we don't need that. And we don't need that on the external monitor either because if we have this enabled it's only going to be a white screen throughout the whole time instead of showing and streaming what's going on while the video is being recorded so leave this unchecked because we already have our rgb lights and our ring light as the flash that we need as the light that we need to produce good videos so leave that unchecked okay let's move down here to where it says timeouts editing we're not going to be editing during the actual event. This is actually what we're doing right now is we're editing the event so that when we go to the event, all we have to do is scan the QR code, activate the event, boom, start rocking, start partying, all right? Start producing some great videos. So the editing right here, you can even you can leave it at 3 just to leave it on, you know, just in case you need it, but most likely you're not. Now the sharing, also leave it at 3. Sharing means when the video is completed and adds all the effects and it's showing on the external screen, it's going to share it on the screen for about three seconds. You want to minimize the time that it's going to be sharing it on there after the video is done with all the effects because remember that you have people waiting to get on the 360 photo booth. So the reason I am setting up this event this particular way is to make sure you guys are running efficient and optimize your time for whatever time that you were booked there, whether it's one hour, two hours, three hours. You want to make sure you generate lots of videos and generate lots of smiles and laughs so that you can be booked again by their family members or their friends, okay? So the sharing, leave it at three. There's going to be an animation popping up in your external on your external monitor that's going to say thank you. It's an anim animation. You want to either leave this at zero or three. That way, like I said, you make this the pro you make this process as fast as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a zero, and then for props, I'm gonna leave this at zero as well. We don't need to use that. Now the sharing method, leave all these checked if you want. I leave these all checked because these are all gonna be options on your phone and on your sharing station. These are gonna be the methods you can share that video that was just downloaded. The most popular and fastest way to do it is of course using your AirDrop. Now, 
if you're using airdrop say for example you can do it directly from your phone or you can have them do it over on the you can do it do it on your phone or you can do it on the ipad sharing station now the airdrop method is the most efficient and the fastest this video is about 28 to 30 seconds long this small little snippet of the the event so when you airdrop it it's going to take like six seconds or five seconds to completely uh, upload to the customer's phone which is super cool it's 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 just it's good workflow edit screen i'm going to go ahead and leave this disabled we don't need that because like i said we're doing the editing right here in app gallery i leave this checked okay that way you have um all the videos from your client on your phone so when you're done with the event you could probably send them uh either all those videos and through airdrop or later on when you get home you can take those videos put it in a hard drive for them and then ship it out to them uh just however you want to run your business but this is what this is i always do the in gap gallery um on my phone that way if something goes wrong i have a backup of all those videos on my phone until i put it on a hard drive okay so we're moving down to the email subject here when you send this email or text message to them this is what they're going to see so go ahead and put the company uh name your company name can capital right then we're going to do the same thing for all these boxes right here okay so i'm just going to go in here and type in not even type in but i'm just going to paste to make this video a lot shorter than than um in my previous videos because what i'm finding out is that if i can find methods to keep these videos uh, short and sweet i won't bore you guys to death and i myself cannot sit still for too long so me right now doing this is a challenge but am i killing it right now i'm killing it <laughs> okay so paste now let's go ahead and move down here to assess props no props leave that as is please company name go ahead and put our company name right here app logo very important most of you guys already printed out your logo that way uh when you ordered from um, the supplier that we've been dealing with overseas when they ask for your logo that same logo photo you sent them you can actually use it right here so it shows on the external screen when um the video is being processed it'll show your app logo so i'm gonna go ahead and choose my logo and i have it here somewhere um i have it right in this folder here and it's right there but now my logo is on there okay guys so that's that's where your logo goes the track screen leave this blank as is except files app background all this right here don't don't add anything extra this is only gonna this is only going to uh, have the rendering process be a bit more extensive and you don't want that you don't you want everything to go by quickly because you don't want people just standing there waiting okay so let's scroll down to where it says triggers motion trigger always have this enabled the reason why is because say for example i'm using this phone right here to record the event as soon as this phone senses that it's being moved like this it's going to trigger that countdown that three two one and then it's going to start recording so having this motion trigger enabled this feature makes life easier leave this enabled let's uh, move down to the external screen of course if you have an external screen already as part of your, as part of your three as part as your 360 photo booth setup david what's going on with you it doesn't matter baby because we're right here still doing it okay so external screen want to leave that like that right and you want to have your QR carousel enabled, company logo enabled, live view enabled, all this stuff right here enabled. And now let's go ahead and submit for now. There was a problem with your submission. Please review the fields below. All right, this is great because if you run into this issue, uh, you'll know how to fix it. So let's see what let's see what went wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll down and see what went wrong. <laughs> seriously i forgot to click this uh, little box right here and let's go <laughs> let's hit submit again <laughs> okay great so it's going to take you to this screen right here let's go to designer click on go designer for me and now we're going to pick our template when you are uh, talking back and forth with your client you want to ask them what type of template would you like and they're probably going to be like, well, what do you mean by that? Well, it's your job to educate your client at all times when it comes to your specialty being a 360 photo booth producer slash director. So these are the overlays right here. Make sure that 
right here on the top left it's always at slow mo overlays and now we're going to scroll down and you notice that there's a total of five overlays the most popular ones of course are going to be this uh vertical one right here i like this one because once you're done recording um it captures most of the entire body so it captures their whole outfit and you can put this one on tiktok you can put it on instagram you can put it on reels uh you can put it any 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 platform that you can really think of and it's already kind of cut to size where it'll be compatible now for me personally the one that i like the most is slow-mo number three because this one gets uh gets more details of your guests right your attendees and not only does it pick up more details because it's a bit more it's a it's closer but it looks nicer when it does a full 360 because it captures more width so it captures more in my opinion it captures more um more movement it captures more uh it captures more of your image so i like slow-mo overlay number three uh let's go ahead and pick let's go with today we're gonna go with number five let's go with slow-mo overlay number five and you guys can go with uh, whichever one you want so i'm gonna click on slow-mo overlay number five right here okay i clicked on it and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go here to the right side where it says add template i'm gonna add it as a template it's adding as template right now okay it says add a template now we want what we want to do next is we want to jump over to um my account and then scroll down to events and as you guys can see now under your events it says robert's birthday and then uh, we can come back and add an overlay and we can manage it later when we need to add that mp3 song okay so this is how you create an event on touch picks on the next uh, session we're going to be ins inserting a song from youtube which is probably the easiest place to find the song and download download it from once we insert that song we're going to go ahead and convert it into an mp3 once it's converted to an mp3 we're going to go ahead and trim it to at least 30 seconds long you don't want to exceed 30 seconds because usually for whatever reason touch picks kicks it out so you want to keep that song short and then from there we're going to jump over to canva and start working on our overlay okay let's go ahead and jump into it right now okay so this uh, client wanted me to uh, add a song by called deserve it deserve it by ace right here when you guys are looking for the song that your client is uh, requesting make sure that it's not the instrumental or the slow down version make sure you get the proper version so i always play the song for a few seconds just to make sure and um go from there so let's go ahead and uh wait for this uh, ad here and then we're gonna dive in. let's go let's take a listen okay. by the way i've never heard this song until uh you know it was requested and i like it i like the song i like the the message i like it. it's melodic good instrumentals all right cool so what i'm gonna do next is and remember guys this link is going to be in the description this link is going to be in the description and this link is going to be in the description as well so all links are going to be in the description that way you guys see this is what i was running into in the beginning when i was looking for a software to download my mp3 song uh, mo most of the softwares weren't available were corrupted or were not um they had like an error so this took me a while so by the time you get to this video it might be that this youtube y2 mp3 might be down and it just happens and i guess it's because it's free but for now let's go ahead and focus on downloading the song into an mp3 so what you want to do is once you have your song on here if you go to the top grab this whole entire link and then cut and then move over to the youtube mp3 and go ahead and paste it right in there okay it's going to initialize okay so it's in there it recognizes it let's go ahead and download it as an mp3 we're just going to click once and you're going to get pop-up windows and don't do any of this stuff don't you don't need to download this because if you guys look on the lower left you see that it's downloading for us right now and it'll be completely downloaded in about 27 seconds okay it shows downloaded and i did get a little notification popping up over here that it did, did download so what i want to do next is i want to close this and you want to go into your files and make sure that it downloaded properly so we're going to go to recents this one downloads okay cool 
So I'm going to rename it just to make it less confusing. You don't have to do this um, if you're downloading the song for the first first time. This is just for for me to remember that this is the one we're going to be trimming. OK, so you guys did that. Good job. It's downloaded onto your folder. Let's move on to the next step. We're going to close this right here. We're going to open up. Uh, it's called cap wing. Now, another challenge that I faced when I was trimming songs is after I finished trimming the song using a free software, I noticed that the song will sound distorted or the quality would just be terrible. And that's one thing that was really frustrating for me. So I had to think about other people that are not using MacBooks uh, because if you're using a MacBook, the beauty of this is that you can simply just use your iMovie to trim the song to 30 seconds long. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. I'm going to assume that you don't. So I will go ahead and show you guys how to trim a song using iMovie on your MacBook, which is going to make life entirely uh, much more uh, easy when it comes to this process and inserting the song into your touch picks. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, just, just roll with uh, Capwing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file right here. And I'm going to go into my downloads and select that file, which is this one right here. Trim and cut video to the perfect length with cap wing. Okay, so that's taking place right now. Okay, that was, that was pretty responsive pretty fast. So this is our song right down here. I hit spacebar to play it. So what I want to do is usually when I'm downloading the mp3 song for the client, I love music. I'm into music. I used to produce and record music too. So keep an eye out because I'm going to blow up this here. <laughs> Not just kidding. But I, I, want to, I usually make it, uh, I, I want to have it like around here. And I'll tell you why. So what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in. Well, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit right here. Then I'm going to go to the beginning and just see if I can start it around here. So imagine you on the photo booth and then the photo booth starts, you know, recording and then the song plays. You want the song to play at a really good uh, point where the remaining of the song is going to be enjoyable. So, for example, say I'm already recording the video. The countdown starts and then the song starts. Here we go. So you imagine your client rocking on the booth. This is a song that's going to be playing in the background as they're doing their thing. So this is a good place to start because it gives a little intro to the song and then it jumps into the more instrumentals and the more uh, the crescendo builds up. So I'm going to leave this at um, 30 seconds and you can see right here how long the, the clip is going to be. And we're shooting for 30 seconds. Keep it under 30 seconds. That's good enough for me right here. So let's just, just kind of take a listen here. Cool. All right. I'm going to pause this. And now what I want to do is want to uh, co go over here on this right side and convert to waveform. No, I don't need to convert to waveform. I need to go here and then export as MP3. It says your content will be converted into an mp3 file. Export audio. It's loading for us right now. Okay, so once it's done right here, when it's done downloading, we're going to go to download file right here. Close that. And our trimmed version is right here. Let's take a listen. Good. The quality is there. I can hear it in the treble right away. You know that this is not distorted. Beautiful. Now, let's find it to see where it's going to be in our download, right, in our folder. And I can see that it's right here. Let's go press play. Okay, great. So, you can rename it. If you have a lot of songs, you can rename it just to get to it much faster. But I'm just going to put Young Ace Bat. And I'm going to put uh, just Trim just to make sure that I'm selecting the correct one right here. So let's go ahead and jump over to touch picks. Let's go to our event that we have already created, Robert's birthday. Let's go to manage right here. And then we're going to click on this edit event. 
and it's going to take us to the event and it's going to allow us to make certain changes okay so here we are we're going to scroll down to where it says add audio file we're going to choose a file and we're looking for that trimmed version right here select that okay now we scroll down hit this icon not forget to hit this icon and hit submit and let's see if it accepts it Nope, it looks like it accepted it. So that's perfectly cool. We didn't get any errors, no nothing. So now it's in our event. Okay, the song is completed. We did it. Congratulations. Now, if you have a MacBook, all you have to do is once you download the song as an MP3, you open up your uh, iMovie and just here. Let me let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that on your iMovie if you have a MacBook. All right, open up your iMovie application on your MacBook and you guys can see it's already there. So what you do is you grab the song, the trimmed version, or not the trimmed version, but you down, you add the song, the MP3 one, the one you just, um, right here, the one that you downloaded as an MP3, you put it into your movie right here and you can kind of skip around and scrub to see where you want it to start so you can zoom in right over here on the right side and then kind of see the waves of where it picks up right so greatness i deserve it right there's a perfect place to start that that um so i hit a control b and it sliced it i'm gonna make i'm gonna come over to the left side and delete this and now i'm left with this long clip i'm gonna move it all the way to the left I'm going to grab the rest of it. And remember, we want to keep this at 30 seconds long. So 30 seconds. Right, right there is good. And now all we have to do is, because it's ready to go, we have 30 seconds of it right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, hit this top arrow right over here. And then we're going to go to export file. And then we're going to name it whatever you're going to name it, right? So young ace. And then deserve... Right there that way it's saved copy and then where it says format it's very important that you guys only choose audio only that way it gives you this option right here which is going to be mp3 the file format we wanted to export it as an mp3 then we hit next and it, and then right here we just put the same title we named it this is going to be saved to whatever folder you have it assigned to save it to it's going to be saving it to my 360 folder and hit save okay now that that's done um see how fast that was so that's super cool if you already have iMovie that's all you have to do which is fantastic okay moving on to the next uh section very important we're going to close this we don't need this anymore we don't need this anymore so now we're just going to be focusing on our template so you guys made it this far congratulations if you're finding this very valuable please you already know what to do hit it with the like button um and subscribe if you are thinking of jumping into the 360 photo booth subscribe if you are already a 360 photo booth operator director producer congratulations i hope this channel is adding value to your business um subscribe as well now let's go ahead and go to our designer on touch Picks. and by the way if you weren't on this window let me show you how to get to where we need to get to to get this uh, overlay going Okay, so let's go ahead and start from the very beginning here. Let's say you're in your dashboard on touch picks. You're going to go to event right here. And then you're going to go to where it says overlays. So click on the overlay. And you'll realize that there's, it's blank. There's absolutely no overlay. Okay, that's okay. Go ahead to the left and click events. And then manage. And scroll all the way down and then hit submit check submit and then it's going to take you to that same window now we're going to go to designer it was simply just clicked on here as well i'm fired up I'm fired up because this is a this is a new lifestyle that you guys are diving into
So we agreed that we were going to stick to slow mo, slow mo overlay number five, and that's what we selected. Now, this next step, guys, take notes or circle back to this video for this information because this right here is this this piece of information is what's going to save you a ton of time. So we want to know the exact dimensions of this overlay. That way, when we're building the overlay, creating the overlay, we know what our borders are and how much space we have to work with. Way you do that is if you click right over here where it says um, uploads. It gives you an option to custom overlay to add that overlay. And you guys can see this super helpful little window that TouchPix uh, came up with. Uh, it says a lot of file types. For us 360 photo booth operators, we want to scroll all the way to the to the midsection here where it says video slow mo. And these are the template sizes right here. And the dimensions are right here on the right side. So we decided we were going to go with template number five, portrait long, and either these are the dimensions 1072 by 1920. Okay, that's uh, 1072 by 1920 for template number five. So let's go over to Canva. In Canva, when you when you jump into Canva, it's gonna look just like this. When I was first making overlays, overlays were taking me close to two hours to create. Reason why is because I was using free applications, uh, the combination of three applications. I think one was PNG, we uh, one was Photo P. I, I forget, but I don't miss those applications at all. Because ever since I found out that Canva has these features, I'm going to show you guys what I mean um, right off the jump here. And so billing, okay. So I'm paying $13 a month for the Canva Pro. Now there's a free trial. You guys try this free trial. This is going to make your life easier. As 360 photo booth operators spending $13 a month on a software that's going to complement your business and increase increase the workflow of your business instead of jumping from app to app to app you guys are going to love me for this suggestion because i'm there's just no way i would turn this down think about it we spend this amount of money on dumb stuff like two, two freaking cups of coffee at starbucks but you know we're moving on to bigger and better things so let's start thinking let's start thinking like a business person and realize this is a great investment 13 bucks and you can do the free trial and if you guys love it stick to it i would not change Canva until something better comes along. So when you are here on Canva, you can go to, for example, YouTube thumbnail, and that's okay because we're gonna resize the image anyways. And I'll show you what I mean. So if you go here on this top left side and click resize, we're just gonna change it to the dimensions that was given to us by TouchPix. So that way this, this section right here will be the same dimensions as if we were already uh, working off of this right here. So I'll show you what I mean. So it was 1920 by 1072, and then we're going to hit resize right here. And it did, didn't do it for us. And let's just make sure I'm not making a mistake. 1072 by 1920. Resize 1072 by 1920. I've been having issues all morning with my Wi Fi. I, uh, so 1072 by 1920. 1920. Okay, resize. Okay, this is beautiful because this is going to show me, David, you have this much space to work with. Now let's get it. All right, so it's Robert's birthday. So one of the first things you can do is you can go to templates and just type in birthday. And it gives you ideas. I, I like this. Some of this writing right here is nice. Um, and there's a reason why I'm telling you guys to go to templates is because most of you guys that are here for the very first time, you guys have a no experience on creating an overlay. I used to be like you just a couple of months back, so I didn't even know where to start. And I think this is part of the reason why it was also taking me a very long time to come up with an overlay. But now, you know, things have changed and experience is uh, something that I have under my belt now. And you guys don't have to go through all the stress uh, that I went through because I'm showing you guys a, a, uh, a class, a training course that's going to expedite all that. So his birthday is also celebrating Easter. So what you guys can do is uh, let's type in. guys can see it. 
stuff on here. I can grab this and move it right over here. This is this is pretty cool. I like these in the bottom. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. These eggs, I could probably move them a little bit lower. Right? And then I can go to elements or I can go to text, right? So I'm gonna go to text and write uh happy or let's see, how should we how should we word it? Robert's birthday. That way it's sh it's shorter. Do that. So Robert's birthday. Always ask your client what they want as far as the text goes because um, you want to make sure that they like it. So there we have it. This looks ugly. This looks super plain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um, I'm gonna pimp this out. So let's go to uh, let's go to the text right here. And you guys can see that you have a lot of different options. This one actually looks nice. I just used this for one of my thumbnails on YouTube and it looks pretty cool. But I'm wondering if we can go here and change the colors. This is nice too. You guys can just kind of go on here and see what uh, which ones you think would complement overall template here put in passion here um usually it uh it'll give me a certain text but right now like i said my internet is not super fast and i'm not loving it at all so i'm just working with what i got right now uh, some of these tools should be as you guys can see it's, it's not loading this should be it should be loading here and it's not happening um i'm not a, i'm not a very satisfied customer right now with my uh my Wi-Fi. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit larger, like this. And then, in addition to that, I'm going to go to Effects right here, and just see how it looks if I do this. Just, just you know, get an idea. Okay, that's neon. That actually looks pretty clean, like this, right? Like that. That looks pretty clean. And then what I can also do is I can curve it. Like Robert's birthday. And then we can even probably find uh balloons or a bunny. Let's see if we can get some balloons here. Go to element. Oh that's right. It's not moving fast, huh? These are some nice balloons. Now let's see. I'm sure when it comes to this part, some of you guys are going to just take off. Uh, I know that there's people out there that are very, very creative when it comes to this stuff. So, but I, I'm just showing you guys the, the basics. You can grab this and then we can spin it around a little bit like this and probably have the balloons coming like this. Maybe not. Some of you guys are probably going to want to put what's called a frame, like a border. I don't like adding borders to this because the border only takes away uh, from the real estate of the actual video. So if you make a border and it's this, uh, it's it's like in this area, and then I'll show you guys what I mean by border. Like this much right here is not going to be showing because it's covered by this border. You want to keep the borders to a minimum and not make them too thick. I'm seeing too many videos on TikTok from photo booth operators where they have a thick old border and just a very small part of the video is captures the actual person's uh you know swag. So try to keep these borders to a minimum. If not, don't use them at all. I don't like using borders because like I said from the experience that I had. So I could leave this super plain and just make it like this or um I can probably just add a like a maybe a bunny for Easter maybe. Um, I just I really wish my Wi-Fi was kicking butt right now so that we can move through this like this fast. Um, but unfortunately, it's not happening for us. But uh, there there's no stopping us. So type in Easter here. 
let's see if we can go back to the text and change the text to one I found a while back called passion feeling passionate right here I like this right here okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects That looks, this will look dope too. The video, this, this type of highlight, but I think the one that I liked the most was. Actually, this one right here looks super clean. Robert's birthday. Just to give you an example, say you did want a a border, you can take this, or you can take, you can spin this around. Kind of put it on this edge like this. See that? Some of you guys might like that, so you can you can always do that. I've seen them around before, I think my last video. They're actually nice, but you just have to find a way to complement the overall photo overlay so that it doesn't look too tacky. Click on here, initial options. You can see that there's a... F little smaller. And I want to show you guys something. Let's zoom in a little bit right here. You see this? How it's behind the, the lettering right here? If you go to position, you click on the, when you click on these eggs, you go to position, you can boom, move into the front, it'll cover the name. But um, we want to, in this, in this case, we want to move into the back. And maybe this right here, I'm thinking of actually changing it to... Regular. Let's see how that looks. This looks a little bit better, um, in my opinion. What I can do is put a shadow here. A little blue there. Want to make it too large? Can we put put something like like this okay Robert's birthday very very simple um, and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to share right here and, and pay a uh, close attention to this please guys because this is like the fee the reason why I decided to go with Canva and pay that monthly subscription because it has this cool feature right here so this is done and now all I have to do is say for example I go to share when I go to download, it's going to give me the option to get a transparent background. That's exactly what I want. I want a transparent background. All right. So now we want to download it as a transparent background. As you guys can uh, see, this is basically how it's going to look like. But let's go ahead and hit download and wait for it to download and then jump over to our Canva section. 
our account, but our touch picks section. And remember uh, how to get here? It's got to go up here where it says uploads and where it says customer overlay. We're going to go ahead and browse and find that overlay we just did. It's going to be in your download, so it's right here. And now I'm going to click on this overlay and it applied it right there. So that's how it's going to look. So it's it's super simple and it's that easy i've done overlays that look better than this one but for the sake of the video i just kind of wanted to show you how to put one together and how to apply it to your touch picks now we're going to add the template by clicking uh, here on the right side it's adding the template for us template added so you want to confirm that it's actually been added by doing this by going to your uh going to your account right here and going to events just to confirm, now we want to come over here where it says overlays. We want to make sure that that overlay we just attached to the template is reflecting right here. If it's not, then we didn't, it wasn't saved successfully. But you guys, you guys can see now that it's right on there. It's good to go. Like I said, are you, some of you guys are going to kill it in the aspect of creating beautiful overlays on Canva. Um, that's not my strength, I admit it, but that's how you do this on touch picks. So in today's video, we went over how to create an event on touch picks, how to download a song from YouTube, make it an MP3 and then trim it and then add it onto your touch picks event. Also, we, we dived into Canva and I showed you guys how to get the proper sizing for your template. That way you can start creating your overlay. And once you're done with your overlay, how to download it with a transparent background to put it just like this on touch picks. This video was lengthy. And the reason why is because we were going over important details. And I, you guys can always fast forward to different sections of the video to kind of recapture what we discussed in any specific uh, time frame within this whole entire video. So guys, thank you for your patience. There's a lot of things in motion. I do, do want to continue producing content for the 360 Photo Booth community. I do enjoy you guys coming at me with questions. And the Q&A is going to be the next video we're going to be jumping into. Because some of you guys have come up with some questions that I think are great questions. And we should really elaborate and expand on that. If you guys have any tips or advice and are already doing your thing, please go ahead and share with the community. You know, jump in and uh, contribute. So, love you guys. Subscribe. Share this video with someone that you know is trying to dive into the business and like. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.